Hey guys, just want to make a quick video. Uh, I know you guys haven't heard from me in a while, but it's getting near time for uh, tapping maple trees. So it'll be you know the end of the month or so, I guess. Um, not sure what day today is. The something or other. We're pretty near halfway through anyway. So a couple weeks. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something a little bit different this year with the uh, taps. I'm still going to do some of these too. Um, this one's just a cast aluminum spile or spout or tap, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've got, well that's the only one I got. <laughs> and I've got four of the stainless steel ones. So I've got five all together. I need to pick up another ten or so I guess. I got, uh, well I got lids right there. And I got the buckets here. There's 15 buckets there. So I'll put out those 15. That's what I put out last year. Actually, I got picked up one bucket. This is just the one type I picked up. I thought I had uh, more of these, but I don't. I think I used plastic ones last year, and I want to go with metal ones. I'd prefer the stainless ones, but it seems like the only ones you can get are these cast aluminum ones. So I'll pick up another 10 of those, I guess. And I'll hang up those buckets in a couple weeks, but uh, I'm planning on putting out a few more this year, and my plan is to use these buckets. These are five gallon, uh, just five gallon buckets I picked up from the bakery. They are two dollars a piece. There we go. It eggs in them or something, but. $2 a piece at the bakery with the lid. I took them home, washed them out. They were washed anyway, but I just made extra sure and washed them. So I got eight there, and I picked up another half a dozen, so we're at 14. I'll probably try to grab a few more, maybe another half a dozen. We got 20 buckets out. Um, and for taps, I picked up a bunch of. Um, there's some fittings in there too, just to play with, but taps like this. So these are 5 16th. You just drill a hole in the tree, 5 16th, tap it in, and you put this tubing on. As you can see here, I got it. I got 100 feet of it. So my plan is uh, most of the trees are like, you know, they're like four or three or whatever, just sticking up. So we'll just put a tap on each one or so. And, uh, We'll all run the hoses down for like one bucket per tree or maybe even a couple bucket or a couple trees per bucket kind of thing. Yeah, get as many as we can in. Um, most of them are just red maple so they don't don't really run as good as the as the sugars do but it is what it is. Um, I do have a couple sugars and they run pretty good so Probably try to keep it to about four t four taps per bucket kind of thing. So hoping to get 20 buckets. So then I don't know how many that'll work out. Depends on where the how far apart they are and whatnot. So we'll try to get them set up. So my goal for the this year was 50 uh, taps, not necessarily buckets, but 50 taps. I did 15 last year, so it's a big step up. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, last year all I had for boiling sap was my little Coleman stove, like a two burner stove. I set up on a table, the table's right there actually. And that table in there is, I think the stove is buried in my junk pile back there. But I got, I got a hose for it, uh, for running the big propane tanks instead of the little tiny ones, so that helped. But this year I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Uh, with more taps means more sap, so my plan is to get a uh, like an actual pan for it with a with a uh, fitting on it and a spout for emptying it, and uh, I'm gonna get one of those. I haven't figured it out yet. I have to see what the prices are, but the two or three burner with with the own table kind of thing, and uh, I think they're 150, 200 bucks, something like that. So we'll get that, and we'll get the pan set up on it. So. Spend a little bit more money on it this year, but uh, I enjoy it, so might as well. YouTube revenue paying for that anyway, so. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what we're that's what we're up against. So it's five minutes, uh, pretty well cut off time for the video anyway. So the next clip or next video I post, I'll be hopefully in the woods. It's actually about six degrees today and warm. Uh, everything's muddy around, so I don't want to go out the field like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.